Hello, I'm Sakari Nousian and I'm a fifth year signal processing student and uh, I'm from Finland. Um, I'm Eva Johnson Ifelici, I'm from Canada. I'm an international master's degree student, my second year of my master's degree. And I'm uh, Alex Reche. Last year I was an exchange student here and now I'm doing my master's degree uh, here. Oh, did I mention I'm from Romania? So we're working together with other students in civil engineering, um, in architecture, which is what I'm in, and in uh, signal processing. So working with people in different fields really gives you kind of a broad range and knowledge about uh, different subjects. So for this project, uh, we are analyzing people and the services um, on Haminkatu, which is in the city center of Tampere. And we're using video recordings, some groups are using audio, and we're kind of trying to track people uh, based on the services, how they use different places. So depending on which group you're in, you have a specific topic that kind of starts you out, kind of gets your ideas flowing. Um, and then from there you can branch off and expand. So you can incorporate other ideas from other groups if you've been listening in on their kind of topics to see what you're interested in. So ours was the services factor. So. And uh, we went to film uh, to Hamenkatu to get some uh, demo material, but most of the research was done at the campus arena to get to get a good uh, video feed. Okay, uh, my group was uh, charged with studying mobility in the small scale, and we found that uh, in the end we branched out and uh, we studied uh, a much broader field. We ended up uh, studying the services along Ham and Kato as well, and um, we were looking at how uh, by analyzing patterns of movement with uh, uh, computer algorithms, you can maybe make predictions that can help you uh, design design spaces and make predictions about how people are going to uh, uh, pass through certain spaces before they're built. I really enjoyed it. I really like working with people from different fields because that's what's going to happen when you go into the field of architecture. You're going to work with other engineers from all different disciplines. So this kind of gets you started on, okay, how can I, you know, work with different people who have a different background and from different cultures and different areas across the world. So you really end up learning a lot, not only about their culture, but kind of about their design and what they've learned and kind of what happens maybe in your designs in Finland is a little bit different than what would happen in like Romania or Canada. So you really learn a lot about kind of different cities and you kind of learn about different things that you're like, oh, I never would have thought of that had someone, you know, from this country not said anything about it. So it's really interesting. Yeah, I think the same. The best outcome for this course was the class of the people from different backgrounds and different knowledge because uh, I noticed that at the beginning we re really needed to explain all our ideas and concepts really carefully and uh, like drawing a picture to get the other person to get the, the same idea. Yeah, I, I, I would agree with them. I think this was by far the most refreshing thing for me as well. The fact that we got to collaborate with people from uh, other domains. Uh, it's, it was something new for me, it's something that I hadn't done before, either at my previous school or here at TUT. And I think another good thing about this course is that it's not fully just a design studio. It's a lot of kind of theory and research. So it's kind of a different way, If you're, especially if you're going into your thesis in the next semester, like some of us are, um, it's great to kind of do that research part and learn about those theories and then applying that to the design so that you know that you can kind of, there's different things that you can do in architecture. It's not just design, design, design. There's You can do kind of more theoretical approach. And I think for me, that really helped me kind of get going with some ideas for my thesis about how to structure my thesis. I can kind of structure it similarly to how I did for this course. For me, it also was refreshing to have an, an open-ended course where you decide yourself what the outcomes are and you, you set your own objectives or your own goals. I, I don't know, I appreciated that about the course. I had the same experience that it was really nice to do the research first, like what is the thing that we are doing and then trying to apply it to some even commercial application that could be like sold someday. And uh, then finally we can combine the 
graphics and ideas of architects with, with the theory we have done to get, to get new kind of uh, ideas.